Hey, so um, I'm not sure what I'm going to talk about today, but I have a lot of stuff on my mind, so let's just see what happens when I vomit out my words, okay? Um, let's talk about, okay, the thing that is striking me today and lately is that I'm working a summer job, and last summer I had just started recovery, and I was taking a physics class, and in this physics class you had to take lunch. But I homegirl had extreme hunger, okay? So, like, lunch was an ordeal because you had to cater to your extreme hunger. So I remember just driving to my class, like, shoveling down granola bars. And then I get, and I try to act somewhat normal. But, you know, I was shoveling down more granola bars at a slower pace. And then lunch came, and I had a large lunch. And then I shoveled down more granola bars. So it looked somewhat normal. But, like, on the car ride home, I was like, hum, hum, hum. and then when I got home, I was like, hum, hum, hum. um... And now, this summer, I have a summer job, which is great. I love my job. Oh, it's so good. But I have to pack my lunch as well. And you know what? I bring I bring a sandwich. You know how exciting just bring a sandwich for lunches? Like, not because it's a little bit, but it's because you get to... You, get, you don't have to worry about extreme hunger. Like, you be, make a substantial sandwich... And you're like, wow, I'm so excited that this will satisfy me. Like, ah, it's magical. So, like, you know, you in the beginning of recovery, you're like, you're just, you're just seeing stars. Like, you're not really believing what's going to happen. And you know that it's going to happen, but you're just in a dream state. Like, I started recovery, and I would, had been researching for so long, and I'd been in quasi for so long. And blah, I was finally starting what I've read about. And I didn't believe things were going to happen. Like extreme hunger, psh, nah. Redistribution, psh, nah. Like, but then extreme hunger hit and I'm like, oh. And then the recovery body came and I was like, oh, I really hope redistribution comes. And like all of these things hit, but you're just in shock and awe at this point And you're... You're just kind of like, what's the happening? Just let the hit come. Like, it's amazing. It's terrifying, but it's amazing. And then mid recovery, you're used to it. You're used to the punches being thrown, and so you're just trying to hold on for dear life and just take the pain. And then that's a while. And then redistribution happens, and extreme hunger wanes, and you're like, ha, oh, ha, oh, a little bit of relief. And I feel like I'm at that point. Like, a lot of my redistribution happened. I'm not sure if more will happen. And then relapse risks. I feel like, okay, last semester was a nightmare in so many different ways. It was, like, unimaginable, like, in college. I hate how much I'm saying, like, in this video. I don't think I usually do that, but not, I digress. So... In college, it was awful last semester. The, the punches I got thrown were amazing. <laughs> and I had the conversation with myself of deciding, do I want to relapse? Because I had moments that I was exhibiting relapsing behavior, but I never fully did until one day where I thought, I really want to relapse, just fully, just like completely relapse. And I was like, nope. Like, that's stupid, and I gave my reasons why, and that was a Foundations of Recovery video, like, I'm not doing that. Um, and I'm, I'm not going there. So, at this point in my recovery, I don't have to worry about extreme hunger. I don't have to worry about relapse, and I'm not hating every part of my body anymore. And it's weird. Like, for the entirety of my year, I have been so focused on recovery and so focused on the different stages and the different struggle those stages bring. It's so weird to like to be free of those struggles. Not completely, and you always need to stay alert and be monitoring yourself and be honest with yourself about anorexia, but Oh, jeez. It is so much different. And it is so much better. And so much less work. And it really does pay off. I'm so glad 
that I acquiesced to my extreme hunger every time that I hit. I'm so glad I put myself through that. I'm so glad I ate till I felt sick. And I'm really glad that I let myself have those 16 brownies in one day, in one sitting. It's rough. And you don't think it's ever going, you're never going to see the light at the end of the tunnel, but I am. Like, this summer has been, wow. I'm pretty much in remission, if you want to call it that. I passed my recovery, my relapse risk. That was last semester. If I ever re to relapse, it would have been then. And I passed it. And I hope for those of you who have relapsed that this isn't discouraging for you. Because just because you relapse doesn't mean you're done. You can still get up. And you can still fight and you can still get to the remission point. And your body will thank you. And your, your mind will thank you. And your friends will thank you. Your family will thank you. Like, it's worth it to stand back up. And yeah, I... And for your information, I did relapse um, through college. Like, I started anorexia when I was 15, and then I recovered-ish, not really. And then I went full relapse through college, and here I am, a year after I started re real recovery, actual recovery, extreme hunger, ugly, tearful recovery, and I'm her. You can do it. You got this, and the road is bumpy, but then you realize you're at the end of the road, and you're like, wow. I've come a long way. I guess the point of this video is just kind of mapping out my terrain of recovery, and I would love to hear your comparative recovery or where you think you are or where you hope to be or what you have experienced just let me know also with a video about like specific changes in the body be interesting to you like uh, i don't know yeah it yeah so that's a question i'm putting out there so um i'll talk to you later bye